down in a new part of the area for me. I haven't been down here before. We're on the, near the arson of the Ivory Peninsula. We're going doing Knock the Dubber and Kells Mountains, hopefully. There's a few of them. We'll see about Kells because it might be boggy in between, but I don't know until I get there. Again, like I said, all new to me. I'm not familiar with this area whatsoever. I think I was in Cars I've been once and I wasn't looking at mountains then. Um, yeah, but knocking the door at the path we're coming up here, you'd have seen clips of it. It's uh, it's an old pilgrim path. It is very well marked out. There's markers and there's those white crosses every now and again. So it dates from pre-Christian times, I believe, one of the places I read. So it is, um, yeah, look, it is a very well marked out path. It is, well, it is, it is fair to it, the bottom half of it there because Storm Babbitt came through the week and <laughs> dumped a ton of water in the country. So. So it is fine, you can see the markers going up the hill. The white markers going zigzagging up the hill and I saw two people up a bit higher earlier on, so. And uh, over to the left then is Knocknadubber North Top. So we'll zip over to that as well, hopefully. But yeah, we've um, fine there for it. Cloudy in the distance, so <laughs> hopefully it'll hold off, but again, you just don't know. Open the trick points to knock the dover now. It's fairly cold up here <laughs> at the moment. And I'm just I'm just on the cloud level, it's dropping every now and again to it's close enough to me, so when the cloud does roll over it gets colder again. But uh, you can see the cross below there. It's a massive cross. The where the stones were was about six foot high and it's higher again. But um I presume it was built down there because it's a flat enough top up here. And if you built it up at the trig point, kind of, you wouldn't see it from Car Savine, so I suppose it has to be seen, you know. But um, yeah, it is massive. I don't think I've seen a cross that big on any mountain. So, fair play to them. But yeah, it's a uh, rubber trig point. Now it's a, it's a bit further east to the cross itself, and uh, we're getting we're looking over at uh, the Dingle Peninsula is all the way over there, and uh, it's just nice to be able to see. All the peaks I'm well familiar with to be able to point them out and stuff to well to know what I'm looking at. So it's cool. And then I'm looking in the other direction here and I'm not so familiar with them. I know over there, over in that direction is um Coming Cara and Tierra Mile, part of the Glen Bay Horseshoe, or one of the Glen Bay Horseshoes. So um we'll we'll drop over a small bit there now. Just uh there's a view down from there that's supposed to be good. But just for reference. There is a nice, uh, a nice shelter here for uh, to you. You can sit beside the big cross as well, but it's a nice shelter there just to get a break from the wind. So yeah, we'll um, head down here now a small bit. I'm not sure, <laughs> as is quite often the case. I'm looking down at that now, and I'm not sure I'm going to do the kills. I just, I'm not sure. We'll see. We might do the north top here, knocked on over north top, but. Uh, we we'll give a walk down because I believe there's a nice a, a nice lake down here. So right, Jesus, it's freezing. <laughs> it's a woolly hat weather again.
just after passing out the care and the small care in there we passed a minute ago. And then um, this looking down in here, this is the Glendalock Lakes, I believe is what they're called. And there's a few sea stacks just off in the distance. We're up about um we're up about 680 meters here. So you just to give just to give an idea of it, that's Kells Mountain over to the right then. Uh which is <laughs> there's so much to take in. I mean you're looking off over to the, the Dingle Peninsula as well, there's just so much there as well, you know. But um this is this is beautiful there. I've been here always just just take you in. <laughs> Is a, it is very nice. As I'm looking at that now over the kills, I'm thinking I might do it. It is a big old drop down to go back up, to come back up to here. But um, it doesn't look as buggy as I thought it was going to be. So, of course, if I don't do it, you'll never see this because I'll cut it out. But <laughs> so, I might go over another small bit anyway. But that's, that's stunning down there, isn't it? So that's looking up here is um, Knocked and over our top, over the whole Dingle Peninsula, the Glendalough Lakes, Kells. When you come up in here a tiny bit. The old patchwork of fields. It's pretty great views here, right? I knew it was going to be good, but I wouldn't kind of expect it to be this good. <laughs> we'll, um, we'll go down, we'll give some bit of a look in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, now that looks a bit. Uh, we'll have to see because that, that doesn't look good. I'll have to open up the weather app, see what they're saying. All right. Just dropped off the um, knocking over in our top there. You can see the weather's after, <laughs> after changing a small bit. Um, you can just see the, the cross, the big cross up in the hill up there. So if I thought it was going to clear, I would hang around, but uh, it doesn't look like it. You can see off in the distance. It doesn't look like it at the moment anyway. But um, just the, the view down there is, it is amazing. It is, uh, there's so much going on there. All the, the, the little coves, the, there's a little harbour down there below us, the islands. You can see the skelligs way off in the distance. I don't know if this is picky up or not. So look, the, the big cross is up there. I'm not going to go back up to it. Uh, you can see the, the zigzag route we came up. I'm going to try and shoot across to that. Here look, there's no panic either way. If I decide to, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I can go back up. There's no bother. So. Yeah, the, way, the, the weather was taking a turn. I wasn't expecting it to be just kind of like this this early. So, it's the weather forecast, yeah. <laughs> So I just came down the ridge there, um, a small tiny bit, because uh, it looks like you could keep on going down and so I'm going to stop here. Anyway, that's Kara Savine below there. You can see the skelligs off in the distance again. That's Castle Quinn and that's Killaland Mountain. The one I thought, when I was coming up earlier on, the one I thought was, um, and Valencia is not it obviously, but I came up here, I saw it straight away. And if we, Turn around this way then, you have the, the cross up at the very top. And I went over to the north, the north top. Yeah, I just have to walk down the zigzag path down now. You don't have to be boring enough, but it'll be grand. And um, just looking out there now, we're getting unreal cloud action going on. Uh, that rain shower didn't last long at all. 
that um, it blew over fairly quick. I could see it going over towards the bleskets. Just one thing there before we drop down any further. The bleskit moor over, just over there. It just looks, it's so different to see it from this side. This is very distinctive from over in Dunquin with the two humps and the, the, the village. And then the two others, the Inishfikala and Inishnabro. And you can just about see on Farm Arrow over it. I don't even know if that's coming out in this. But look, I will not keep pointing over the dingle <laughs> when I'm over here. So, because I think we all know that now. But yeah, looking down, it is, look, it is grey as shit here, like, but it is, it's a lovely evening for it. So, right, we're going to work our way back down the path there. And sure, we'll pick it up down below, okay? Yeah, so that, that was knocked over. It was on the, the, the Kerry Way, just near Caris Iveen. It's a pilgrim path, so I was kind of, well, look, I wasn't expecting it, but I, was, I, I thought there'd be more, more people on it on a Sunday as well, so taking a break. So yeah, overall it was brilliant. It was uh, totally enjoyable. More importantly for me, that's the first walk down there now, so we've that out of the way and we can hopefully do a good shot more because there's a lot of walking down there by the look of it. It looked amazing all day. It did look amazing. So if you've got this far, uh, you might consider subscribing if you've enjoyed it, looking around the place, going for walks over the mountains. There's a good shot of other videos on the, on the channel. Uh, just more, more of the same. <laughs> more mountains, more hill walking. So, uh, more photos. We, we'll finish it there. Thanks again for watching, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you in the next one. Good luck.